Hello there, Sandra Grover here. Welcome back to my channel. And in addition to percussion, minus the crash, we're not gonna do the crash today. Uh, in addition to percussion, we're gonna go ahead and add bass and harmony. We're gonna start with the harmony, just to give you a bit of clarity on, on the progression and lining it with the bass. Uh, I did say we're not gonna use Crash. I'm not really happy with the structure right now, and I'm also not really happy with the sound, especially in light of the new bass instrument and harmony instrument. Now, it is subject to change anyway. All this instrumentation is subject to change. I just have a template of sorts. Um, as you can see here, bass is channel five, and it's gonna be channel six on my Logic Pro project, but we might not even get into Logic. It might be just all super clutter right now. So uh, yes, let's actually separate bass. I was playing them together because I wanted them to start on the same beat, but we will keep it separate. So this is my harmony instrument on channel six, channel seven in Logic Pro. Why not? Let's, let's go to Logic Pro. Uh, yeah, bass and keys. All right, so let's have a listen. I will just go ahead and, and name the chords as they come. And you can see that I've commented out a little bit more here. In a bit, we're going to add some mode mixture, some very simple mode mixture. This piece will be an E minor. And uh, uh, let's actually comment this out as well. I think it's the same, I, don't, I think it doesn't matter, but just for consistency, that is uh, for this mode mixture here. So, all right. And I, th I think that's it. Let's give it a go. This is Harmony. We have E minor here. And then G major. So our minor one to our major three. This is going at eight beats, each row is eight beats. A minor, minor four. Of course, A minor again. And then back to E minor, minor one for eight beats. And then this again for four beats, E minor, A minor. And then it concludes with C major for eight beats. Let's go ahead and hear that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the standard progression. In fact, I'm going to improvise in the future. <laughs> I'm going to in improvise over this chord progression, this very simple chord progression with this rhythmic section and also bass. And then a little bit in, the score is not fully de developed yet. A little bit later, we'll add mode mixture and then we'll really add some pretty original key modulations and, and change of color and harmony. Um, but it's that's the, that's the primary chord progression. And it's gonna have some a little jazz nuance, kind of a little bit like uh, how Miles Davis's So What is improvised. Just, just a little bit, but just with violin, not with any other instruments or multiple instruments, maybe until I collaborate with someone. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead. I was just talking away, realizing not where, where I am in the melody. So why don't we go ahead and bridge the two? Oh, okay. Yeah, there's just a, uh, the bass is just going to be a, a sequence of eighth notes indefinitely. So following the same chord progression here. Bass is just taking the tonic of that chord. Oh. And 
These are 32 eighth notes, so 16 beats. Oh, there we go. <laughs> and here's A. Minor one is going for 16 beats, or really two iterations of eight beats, I think. Same with G major chord. And A minor chord for eight counts twice. And then eight counts only once, so we can have that turn into the next sequence of events. Four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's it. Now, I'm not really adding much with this mode mixture. So mode mixture is including any degree that is more or less foreign to the scale. So B flat, for instance, is quite foreign to the key of E minor, but I really do like it in this sequence. And I've been already practicing on violin uh, with, 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 it's not really B flat major scale. In fact, it's not a B flat major scale. It is really the E minor scale with a flat five. And I love it. I'm actually quite uh, sad I found out teaching tonight that I have a rather large crack on my violin. So I, I have, it's to be decided as far as when I'm gonna play on that violin again. It's, it's a beautiful sound and um, it's about, I gotta take it to the doctor, the violin doctor, it's about $800 to, to do a repair like this to get it all secure and set and nice and healthy, so. We'll think of something, how to improvise with violin. I also need to pick a mic, so. Anyway, let's uncomment this. And here our mode mixture. I think I have everything. All right, here we go. So we're just going to do as we've done before, as we've heard before. here looks the same for the most part you know going from the minor one to the major three and again a minor now here comes the flat five of E it's gonna be sweet the this isn't really the instrument, I don't think, for the piece. In fact, this is this harmony instrument is uh, this harmony instrument is actually for my piece, Reverie, and that's that's a simpler piece with violin and percussion and this instrument. So the harmonic, the harmony instrument is subject to change. Let's go up to bass. So we just hit the G chord. a few lines of the melody. Thank you. 
was okay. We gotta add some snare. And I actually have it coming in at right on that first beat because I want it to line on the weak beat with the harmony and bass. And I and I didn't see that with just the rhythmic section, but with the harmony and the bass, sometimes it's off, so. got to have the raised six. I've got to have that C sharp. It, it is Dorian, but this is really jazz. It doesn't really have a Cel Celtic feel. It doesn't have that Irish feel. Um, you know, Dorian is quite common for that cinematic, you know, western part of Europe, mainly Ireland and Scotland, mainly Ireland. Um, but this is quite jazzy. It, it, there's a flat five, so it's not, that raised six is not going to be completely Dorian. But uh, yeah, hopefully you're enjoying this. This is a rather short demo, just so you can see how the bass, how I'm structuring the bass and how I'm structuring the harmony. not warmed up my vocal cords, but you're getting the idea of the melody. All right. So anyway, yeah, I think that's it as far as how I'm structuring my harmony. Uh, this is just the beginning. So for instance, I'll probably have maybe four repeats or maybe eight repeats, maybe a couple repeats of the mode mixture and then branching out from there. And I've got this great run on the violin for that low five. It's, it's, it's really fun to play. I go, I go really fast. And I've been working on that run. I, I cross all four strings and I just, I, I just, I got to do this. I'm so excited. We, we never learned this in the academics. We've never learned how to do live performance for the restaurant, you know, for the venue. You know, we haven't done super clatter for the restaurant. We have not done super clatter for recreational purposes. We haven't done it for leisure. We haven't done it for, we haven't done it for the public. We've only done it for the academic. We've only done it for that academic mind. Super clatter has long been for the academic mind or even for the, the, the sound artist, which is great. I love seeing sound artists do their work, but I really want to take Super Collider to somewhat, somewhat the mainstream. Yeah, I meant to sing my, my melody, but I missed my mark because I was so passionate about expressing how much Super Collider needs to be in the public. Super Collider and violin and logic and, and all this, this good stuff. Yeah, so this is, this is one of my endeavors for this year. That's not my cue. Okay, so here's here's my melody I have in mind before I improvise. One, two, three, four. Da da da. Da da la la da 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 da. Da la la da da da.
warm up before I show off my voice on YouTube. <laughs> Right, so yeah, pretty basic demo, but uh, you get the idea of how things are structured now. So yeah, the beginnings of live performance, scoring for live performance outside the academics. And I love the academics, don't get me wrong, I love it. But Super Clatter needs to make a name for itself out in the real world. And uh, I hope to do that. I hope to be... Uh, somewhat of of the impetus for that maybe not i don't know but uh, anyway i hope you enjoyed that I'm, I'm feeling a little giddy right now I'm, I'm excited i really want to do live performance in this setting so anyway thank you always for watching and listening and uh more of this to come in addition to some commentary and uh getting into the new year i'm wanting to home in on sound synthesis as well. That's going to be a harder endeavor for me. Uh, that is quite challenging as I'm not a pro programmer. Um, so we'll get into more sound synthesis this year and live processing. Hopefully my, my violin will be better by the next time you see it. Um, but yeah, thanks again for watching and happy experimenting on your end and happy composing and I'll see you next time. Thanks again.